Yeah, I'm a shop. I'm disappointed. Came to grab the trailer to load the 61 up to bring it here. And... No keys. <laughs> I swear I left them in my toolbox here. They're not here, so... We're gonna run back to my house. 10 o'clock-ish. So... Get the keys. At least I have my truck keys and the keys to the shop. But, um, yeah, so... I really want Del Taco, so we're gonna go Del Taco. And on my way there, I'm gonna explain how my day went from starting at 9 o'clock to doing things to now being 11.30 and not having a dang thing done. Where do I even start today? This is a vlog style of automotive of Speed Shark Garage and all the turmoil I go through, which isn't a lot, but it's a struggle, that's still for sure. So you know what, I'm gonna film me picking up this bug. I'm glad I did because so much is gone that I, I mean, you could film it, but really does it, it wouldn't show anything. It would just show me frustrated and trying to find one key to rule them all to hope that this is the right one. I don't, because I'm driving back to my shop. And if this doesn't unlock my trailer, if this doesn't unlock the trailer, I should have brought a cutoff wheel. Well, then I'm just gonna go home. Then what are those other keys for? I have too many keys. Um, there's Del Taco. Their burgers, as I, Daniel and I both specifically talked about, very underrated. I think they're one of the best burgers out there. Hello. I burned up a solid hour. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. All right. Drive it out. She put it in a bag in a bag. Oh, they have crinkle fries. Crinkle fries are amazing. Did you get these in like? elementary school then we get crinkle fries instead like brings me back man delicious if i have the right key and i'm able to get this this trailer does not have a winch when i bought it we had four guys we all push it up easy today it's just me and a bad back so i have come along and i have a driveway that's angled so i'm gonna hopefully well, use some gravity and simple machines to get this thing on the trailer and if not push it out in the driveway and catch it on fire i'm going to tell you about this um free trailer i had picked up in albuquerque i get stationed out here in kirtland from arkansas and before buddies and i had planned to go to Actually, this show. Wow, I'm wearing the shirt. The European Experience. How coincidentally. So, we planned to go there. I was taking the BMW. It was running at the time, of course. So, I was not going to drive it from Georgia, from here, all the way to Savannah, Georgia. Could I? Maybe. Well, now knowing why I know, probably would have died. But the trailer, I needed a trailer. I'd not have four grand to throw down on a brand new one, let alone, I don't know, didn't want to buy one. I did. I was going to buy one, but I didn't have that much cash saved for one, and I put it out there to the universe, eat the trailer. An old guy I worked with one day, this is only like a couple weeks after he's, hey, I found you a trailer. I'm like, oh great, you know, like, how much? Like, I was like, ugh. He usually gets nicer things, so it's probably like a six thousand dollar trailer. It's free. That's when I was like, "Whoa, okay, free. What's the catch?" It's at a friend of ours' property up in Colorado, about three and a half, four hours away from here, on his property in the mountains. And he's like, he said that if you go up there and pull it out, you can have it. I was like, great. Like, I'm willing to do it. Like, I got nothing else going on weekends and let's go got up to Colorado and there sat the trailer back in the woods it did not look good but I was like it's free let's check it out for some reason in my head I thought oh I bet we could fill those tires up with air and tow it out 
huh, those tires were going back into the earth. So we thought, okay, maybe this was a Sunday because now I remember we're up there on a Sunday. So I thought, let's pull all these wheels off. We'll go into town. It's about 45 minutes away. Get some tires. Get it out of here. Go into town. It's a Sunday. It's a small town. Everything's closed. Drove home. That week I spent the time kind of cleaning them up because they were they're extremely rusted. Like since they had broken the bead, there was we got rusted on the inside. So I cleaned them up. I took them. The discount got some tires put on it. They didn't seal for a little bit. We had to scrub more of the rust off on the inner bead. Finally got them to seal. Got the wheels set up. Well, I'll go up there, throw these wheels on, tow it back. So me and my dog got in. We drove up there. And it was looking a little like there was going to be some some weather, some snow. And it had snowed there before, but it, it was melted somewhat, whatever. So the dirt road was fine to the property. Get up there. There's the trailer sitting on the jacks. Throw the wheels on. Halfway through getting the wheels on, it starts snowing. And I mean, it's snowing a half dollar coin sized flakes. Just huge coming down. And it was coming down fast. I mean, so quick that I got the last tire on. There was already probably an inch of snow. And I was deep into this mountain. I was like, okay, we need to get going. Me and the dog. So I hooked the trail up, got her in. And we took off. I don't even think I got like I was nervous. Now I got the shock. There, as you can see, there's the wheels. We go under. No suspension. Solid axles. For you, welding on, bolting on, doing both. A new surge brake. Well, it was at the time. Um, welded in some tie downs. Actually ended up redoing the lights, which kind of work, kind of don't. I was in a rush. And that tire, like I said, is flat, but this one will hold it. So I'll pump that up with air when I get home as I can. On our way, that's one neck of the unit right there. The old Ranger and the heavy ash trailer. So we'll pick up, like I said, fold this back. Oh, the pain. moral of the story is when I went out there by myself, brought it back, came into work that Monday, and uh, my buddy that went up with me last time was like, oh, did you go up that weekend and pick that trailer up? And I was like, yeah, of course, you know, and had the tires and all that. And he goes, you want to see uh, what was up there? And he showed me a picture of a giant ass mountain lion that the neighbors had actually shot that came on their property. I don't know, but it was huge. And it was just me and my little dog out there, perfect targets. And uh, so luckily I knew that after I got back, but um, definitely was a little freaky um, to know that that was what was out there while I was out alone trying to put these wheels and tires on and get it out of the mountains. So free trailer probably almost killed me, but it was free. And I probably dumped five, oh no, I probably dumped a thousand dollars into this trailer already. So yeah, we are on our way. Trailer's hooked up, trailer's locked, chained. The uh, plug is in, even though it probably doesn't work. But um, let's get this show on the road. I finally made it back to my house with the car trailer. So before I can load up this 61, I have to move the Baja and I gotta move the shop truck.
work on the trailer. So that seems too scary. I'm gonna move the stop truck out of the way, pull the truck straight, push this down the road, and then straighten it out and get it on the trailer. Okay. <laughs> And I could really use someone else to help me. Only if there was someone. for this trailer I used what I had thinking it wouldn't weigh that much but come to find out quarter inch angle iron and some solid tubing it's really heavy <laughs> the driveway is a ramp I just don't want to try to back up the truck that's all <laughs> hooked up. Shit, it's in gear. We're moving. I what I was going to do from here. First thing about using this is gloves. Ta da! Forgot I had this. Try to save my gun. Try something for off roading in U bolt. Now it's prepared to. That should do the trick.
let it hit those wheel stops. And we'll get it strapped down. I'm not gonna show that, I just used some wheel straps. I'll show you after. Okay, just like that, she's strapped down. I uh, threw one over the front bar. I've got the wheel straps down there. It's not going anywhere. Also, we're not going that far. I made the trip four times today. So, we're gonna tow this to my shop so we can get it going. But uh, there you go, 61 is loaded.